How to treat Baker's cyst behind the knee? A Baker's cyst is a very common medical condition in the popliteal space, which is the space behind the knee, and it also causes mild to severe knee pain along with stiffness. This pain can typically worsen if a person extends his or her knee due to any type of movement. This condition mostly occurs in adults of age 35 to 60, but it can also occur in young adults and children as well. Initially, it doesn't cause any type of serious symptoms and the majority of the cases are diagnosed through MRI. The significant number of cases of Baker's cyst are diagnosed incidentally through MRI because the patient and the doctor first think of any orthopedic problem when someone complains about knee pain. It was just a small introduction about Baker's cyst. Now, let's discuss some of its common symptoms along with home remedies that will surely help to ease those symptoms. Common symptoms of Baker's cyst: painful swelling that often develops behind the knee area, mild to severe pain in the area, stiffness and inflammation, clicking for locking sensation in the knee joint. Home remedies for Baker's cyst: Home remedies are one of the most effective cures for this disease and moreover it will also resolve itself once you will follow all these home remedies that we will discuss further. Number 1 Ice packs Ice packs are one of the most widely used home remedies for Baker's cyst as they can be very helpful in reducing the inflammation and irritation in the knee joint. You have to apply the ice packs daily but make sure that there is a medium between your skin and ice so that you can avoid the direct contact of ice on the skin which can cause the further complications once you will start this home remedy the inflammation and the stiffness will gradually decrease and within a few days it will resolve on its own number 2 bed rest Bed rest is also a home remedy that will not only reduce the severity of the condition but it will also help to heal it permanently. You have to make sure that your knee is in the rest position throughout the day because exposing it to irritation might cause further treatments and surgical procedures. The more you will rest, the more quickly your knee will heal and the swelling will disappear on its own. Number 3 Crutches You don't have to face any sort of humiliation while using crutches because it's one of the most effective home remedies for this problem. It will reduce the weight on your knee joint up to 95% so that you can walk without pain and the healing process will also become fast once the pressure and the weight are reduced on the knee area while walking. Number 4 Physical therapy Physical therapy is one of the most recommended treatments which also come under home remedies for Baker's cyst. You have to hire a qualified physiotherapist who will increase motion in the knee muscles which will help to reduce symptoms and the function of the knee will be also maintained very well. Number 5 Use compressions A compress will help you to reduce the swelling in the affected area. Meanwhile, you only have to tie an elastic bandage on the injured area. You have to tie it tightly so that the knee can be stabilized, but make sure that it's not so tied that it can cut off the blood circulation around the area which will slow down the healing process. Number 6. The bottom line. Remember, all the home remedies can be initially used to cure Baker's cyst. or ease the symptoms but still you must consult your health care expert for treatment there is no harm in following these remedies but it will be more effective if you will use medications along with home remedies you can also eat fruits vegetables and those foods which are rich in calcium so that your immune system can effectively deal with this problem in a short time anyways let me know what you think about it in the comment section below I will see you all tomorrow. Don't forget to click the like button and share this video with your friends. Always stay tuned and subscribe to our channel by hitting the bell icon to see our latest videos. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Have a nice day.